Welcome to your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored this week by 4i, the insights and analytics transformation leader. Back on April the 9th, magazine researcher Affinity LLC saw its lawsuit thrown out by a New York district court. Affinity had alleged that GFK MediaMark Research and Intelligence stole trade secrets while engaged in acquisition talks and then used that intelligence to deliver a lower-priced alternative to Affinity that put it out of business. The judge ruled Affinity had failed to explain why GFK could not have developed an effective competitive product on its own without any Affinity inside information. On Thursday, Affinity filed a new lawsuit against GFK, this time asking for $20 million. The allegations are essentially the same as the first time around. Next, a study from social media marketing firm Syncaps, conducted by Hotspecs, reports that a Facebook fan is now worth 28% more than it was in 2010, and that value is pegged at an average of $174. The figure does vary from brand to brand. Mashable.com points out that a 2011 project from Social Code had pegged Facebook fandom at $10 per. Finally, this week the new edition of RFL Communications Research Conference Report will be published and it includes a summary of a speech by TARP President Dennis Gagne. He had explained to an audience of AAA business managers back in late January about the new normal that characterizes all consumers and he wanted the marketers in the audience to be in position to make needed adjustments. Last week, Dennis hopped on Skype with us to explain this new normal from a research perspective. What's the impact on research of that new normal? Well, I think the smart companies out there, both research providers and great brands, are looking fresh at their pricing research. They're updating that. It's time for that. They're also looking at their segmentation models with this added dimension of value. What is the price that is capable of securing loyalty and drawing in new customers? That usually is not such a keen area of focus as much as, say, messaging or multiple product offering or cross-selling. Now it becomes core, value, price. And I think the third thing is competitive research in terms of pricing and pricing actions. Those are probably the three big areas that are changing in research in order to keep up with the new normal. Does the nor new normal also say something about the homogeneity of the consumer marketplace? Is it as it's always been? Is it basically somewhat diverse within that, uh, you know, new normal? Yeah, and I think the you know, we typically as researchers, we like diversity. We like discrimination in the sense of finding differences. Segmentation and differences in a market are typically described by characteristics or traits or attitudinal differences. What we have here are a couple of things in common across all groups. A, a, focus on needs versus wants. In some respects, we're back to the basics of the Maslow hierarchy. And secondly, this, this drive to get the best value, to shop aggressively in the interest of the household's own efforts uh, to bail themselves out to improve their own financial picture. Mm -hmm. I think both of those characteristics, needs versus wants, and an intense focus on value cut across all those traits that we would normally look at as marketers. Mm. Have you seen an impact in your own business of this new normal? Well, <laughs> we're fortunate because our business is focused almost entirely on the customer experience. And one of the characteristics of the new normal is that you and I will not tolerate anything less than a totally satisfying experience. Uh, we have a hair trigger loyalty with respect to our dollars these days. And so the number one driver of loyalty today seems to be the last time I dealt with you. And since this is the characteristic part of the TARP Worldwide business, uh, we've been very busy, very busy over the past couple of years as companies realize they have got to get it right. There is no room for error. And that's true across insurance and financial services and all sorts of subscription services. So it's a good space for us to be in right now and for any company measuring and activating customer experience. We'll have more from Dennis tomorrow on this subject, so join us then. In the meantime, if you'd like to read Dennis's complete remarks about the new normal, email me at info at rflonline.com.
That's your Research Business Daily Report sponsored by 4i, the leader in insights and analytics transformation. You know, it said satisfied clients are generally the most outstanding resource when you want to assess the quality and reliability of a company. Well, there are several 4i testimonials linked below this video. Check them out. Have a great research day. We'll see you on Tuesday.